I'm Rachel from Raza and today I'm going to walk you through how to install Raza X on Windows 10 and then run your Raza X server locally. The first thing that I've done is a little bit of setup. So I already have an assistant uh, downloaded and ready to go. This one is the help desk assistant from the Raza GitHub that I've just cloned locally. And I've activated my Conda environment where I installed Raza. So if you followed the Raza open source installation video, you should already have this good to go. From here, I'm going to start by installing Raza. X. I'm going to use pip install raza-x-i and then point it towards another site. If I just try to pip install raza-x, you'll get an error and it'll let you know that this is the correct command. So even though we got a little error message, our installation is up and running correctly. From here, if I want to run raza-x locally, I can just use raza space x. However, as you can see in this repository, I have some actions. So if I want to use my action server, I need to start it before I launch Raza X. If you're using an action server with a Raza assistant that uses localhost, there's a little bit of an extra lag that this will introduce on Windows version 7 plus. In order to reduce that, we're going to instead specify the IP directly. So instead of localhost, we're gonna say 127.0.0. .0. One. So to do launch Raza X, I'm just opening a new terminal and then I'm going to activate my Conda environment. I'm going to double check that I'm in the same directory as my assistant and it looks like I'm not. And from here, I'm going to use Raza run actions to run my action server. Now we can go back to our first terminal. And um, as you can see, I tried to run Raza X in a directory new project uh, that is not actually the directory that has the assistant in it. So I moved into the directory with with uh, the domain and the config files. And from here, I can launch Raza X. Once you've launched your Raza X server, it will open as a new window in whatever your default internet browser is. If we go to models, you can see that there is one trained model for this assistant and it's currently the active one. Uh, if I had multiple models or if I retrained using this train button, I'd have to select the one that I wanted to use and there'll be a little dot 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 menu here to make it the active one. From here, I can share my model. Under the conversations tab, you'll see I have this little share with guest testers icon. Click on it. I'm going to to specify the assistant details and then generate a link. This link is being run on localhost. So I can open it in a new window on my machine, but if somebody else wants to use it who's not on my machine, they're not gonna have access to it. In order to share it over the internet, we are going to use a service called ngrok. If you use ngrok, you can download for Windows. Once you've downloaded this file, it will download a zip file and you want to unzip it into a directory. So for me, I have unzipped it into the directory above my current directory. So if I open a new terminal, change directory to go up one, and then list everything in my directory, you can see that I have ngrok.exe here. In order to use ngrok, I need to specify the path to the executable to use it to create a URL that points to our testing environment. I need to check the number of the port. So you can see it's localhost colon and here it's 5002. So I'm going to tell ngrok create a new uh, web link that will point towards the current port on my computer 5002. Once it's done that, you'll see that it has created an HTTP and HTTPS link. If you look at the link that was generated to share your assistant, you can take everything after the port number, copy that, and then paste it after the ngrok link. And that will open up a new window where someone can test your assistant. So I can say hi, and my assistant will continue the conversation. Those are all the steps that you need in order to launch your Raza X assistant in local mode. Something to keep in mind is because this is running locally on your computer, if you close either of these terminals, your Raza X instance will stop working. If you're interested in using Raza X over a longer time period or with a large project, we recommend using Raza X in server mode so that it's more persistent. I hope this was helpful and you're ready to start using Raza X with your projects. If you run into any problems, feel free to reach out to us on the Raza forums and we'll do our best to help you out.